So now I'm going to talk about uh, uh, sweet water. Sweet water is the sap that we get from the tree. This one here, that's before it's boiled. It's very clear. And uh, we also uh, use that to drink during this season. Uh, we use it to uh, cleanse ourselves. It's a cleanser. It also uh, makes you want to go to the toilet quite a bit. You have to be careful with it. We call this sweet water. Uh, and uh, we call this nenatic wabo in the language. Uh, wabo is, uh, means liquid in the language. Nenatic means maple, so it's maple liquid. The, uh, some people also call it sizabakwit wabo, which is uh, sugar making water. Now, as we boil, the consisti consistency starts to change and the color starts to change. You get this about halfway through the boil. Uh, it's, it's starting to form in, in a way that it's going to eventually reach a consistency of syrup. And that's the beginnings of it. Uh, that's what you see. It even smells different at this stage. It smells beautiful. It has a sweet smell to it. It's not as sweet as syrup, but it's very good for you also. It still has the ability to heal you and cleanse you like this one. And we also, in the later stages, after we uh, make syrup, Nishinaabe continue to uh, continue to boil it uh, to a consistency of very thick syrup and then they start making sugar with it. They take that thicker syrup and they put it on a wooden trough with a paddle and they stir it around until they get uh, sugar. Now this is one of the ways that sugar is stored uh, through a cone. Uh, you can hang that and mice won't bother it, like so. Uh, and then you can scrape it off as you need it. And that's just uh, a sort of a finished product. Another finished product is where you take it to powder uh, and looks like uh, modern day brown sugar. And uh, uh, yeah, so this is actually uh, what we call sizabakwit, which is uh, the sugar. Uh, we also call white sugar sizabakwit, by the way. But this is truly the sizabakwit. Uh, uh, today we'll, uh, we'll just uh, point out to you that uh, sizabakwit, uh, apta sizabakwit, would be syrup. Uh, this just means uh, it's halfway to sugar. It is of course the the, uh, the name of the tree maple that I explained to you before, Ninotic. Now there's several explanations of the word Ninotic. There is. Uh, there's people that say that it's from, uh, derives uh, its meaning from Nini, which is a man. Atig is tree. So if you were to literally translate it, it would mean man, tree. The other one, and it's debatable, is that Nin really means good. Nin atik, that means good tree. That's the one I prefer myself. And any time that you have nin, nin atik, uh, in a word, then you, that tells me that it is, uh, it is a special uh, tree that's probably gifted directly to Nishnabe from the Creator. We do have uh, 
some spigots, which are made traditionally, and we have some makuk. Makuk means pot uh, that we keep from the tree in the way we, we think that it was gathered in the early day. We have to look after the, uh, the fire, as an example. We have to put wood in here to burn, which is all relative to the teachings of the sun. That's where the fire comes from and came to Nishnabe in early times. We learn how to work fire. Fire will boil this down. It's, uh, all these things are related. Fire is called shkute in the language which is again related to de, which is a deriv deriv derivative word, uh, meaning the heart. Shkuda is like related to the heart because of its beat, like there is a rhythm of fire. And, uh, and that's what, one of the reasons why we call it that. I'd like uh, Canadians to remember Zizabakwit, uh, to begin to use some of these words uh, to describe this, this syrup. Uh, I think it's, uh, we are, we owe, owe it to the years and thousands of years of doing this to retain some of these words. <laughs>